Welcome to this two-minute tutorial from biggerplate.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started creating your first mind map using Mind Genius. So let's begin. When we launch Mind Genius, we're met with this landing screen, where you can see a selection of mind map templates that can be used if you want to use a pre-existing map to help you get started. For now, we're going to jump straight into creating our first mind map. So let's close the templates pane and focus on the blank map that's ready for us here. The first thing to do is give our mind map a title, and we do this by double-clicking the central topic and simply typing our title. We're going to call this map SWOT Analysis. Our SWOT Analysis map is going to have four main branches, so now we need to create these, which involves using just one key on our keyboard. With our central topic still selected, we're going to hit the Insert key and type our first branch heading, which is Strengths. If we click OK, the dialog box will close and we can see our first heading. You'll see our central topic is still selected, and this means we can quickly repeat this process to create our other main branches. Again, we hit Insert, type our second heading, which is Weaknesses, and then click OK or hit Enter to close the dialog and show our new branch. If we repeat this for our final two headings, we now have the start of our Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities and Threats mind map. You'll notice our map is a bit one-sided at the moment, and we can fix this by clicking the Map Layout option in the main menu and selecting this option, which will automatically even out the layout of our map. Now we're ready to build out a further layer of information on our map, and once again we'll simply be using the Insert key to do so. If we select our Strengths topic by clicking it once, we can now hit Insert to add Customer Service as one of our strong points and then insert again to add office location as a strength. Moving to our weakness branch, we might add staffing as one of our weaknesses, and then add website as another weakness. With either of these subtopics, we can add further information by clicking on them and using exactly the same approach to enter further information. For example, perhaps we're missing key personnel or have a lack of new talent within the business. Simply by using the Insert key, we can start to build out the detail of our other branches and over time build up a comprehensive SWOT analysis mind map for our organisation. It's as easy as that. That's all for this tutorial, but don't forget you can view more MindGenius tutorials, templates and examples by visiting biggerplate.com.